Primordial Radio. You, you, you mentioned the, the Lindemann tour there. I just quickly wanted to ask you this, because I think, like, Till Lindemann is... Like, for those who who aren't uh, close to him in any way, shape, or form, he's this larger-than-life character, of course, you know, the work that he's done with yourself, and then Ramstein, everything like that. But, uh, you know, is he larger-than-life uh, when, when you, I guess, you're perhaps a little bit close to him, like, sort of, you know, day-to-day? Because he just, he just comes across as that sort of larger-than-life person. Uh, I think he's... Yeah, I mean, if you see him from the outside, if you know him, you know he's not really any different than anybody else, you know? Hmm. He just has a vision of how he likes things to look like, and he's a very smart guy when it comes to to the business stuff and uh, to the show, you know, to see and and things like that. And so, uh, I mean, other than that, he's a normal guy. Mm Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was looking at some of your producer credits earlier because I was just sort of re- refreshing my memory of you know, everything you worked on. I was like, well, I'm never going to remember all that. <laughs> but, you know, it's yeah. hugely, it's, man, it's so hugely impressive, the amount of guest appearances, producer credits, uh, you know, where to begin. But I kind of wonder when you are so ingrained in production and then you put together your own albums, be it with pain, now hypocrisy, mm. is it difficult to get like a bird's eye view on yourself? And, uh, and, and do you perhaps even get others to come in and sort of self-check you because you're so close to it as a producer and yeah. a songwriter. Yeah, definitely. It's easy to, to fall into this hamster wheel, you know? Yeah. And uh, then also eventually after this hamster wheel start going, the less motivated you get, you know? You need a little carrot, you know, something to to really inspires you. So uh, what I do what, when I write stuff and... and uh, I usually send it away half done to either friends or, or some A&R at some record company or something like that. Just get some boosts, my management and things like that, you know, because mm-hmm. um, it's always good to have other people's input because you get really blind and deaf when you sit by yourself all the time and, and do all your stuff. And um, yeah, you definitely need some outside opinions. You know, I, I always listen to that. Mm-hmm. And uh, s- same with the, when you release an album and stuff, I always read the comments to see what people like and don't like because it's not all a bed of roses, you know? You need to know some shit as well, some negative things to, to, to make it better. You have to bring it into yourself and see, you know, you're not perfect. You're not a robot, you know? And, um, and see what people thought was not so good with this or that. And I always tried to do that in the past as well. Mm-hmm. And also keep it in mind next time i do something yeah 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 yeah. and you touched upon sort of continuing inspiration there i was kind of wondering then you know at its core given that you've that you've done so much and i I suspect anything that maybe you wanted to achieve when you started out in music is you you probably have but like at its core like what is sort of the the continuing driving motivation what's that thing that makes you go man i really want to make this hypocrisy record yeah i think it's it's not matter of fame and fortune anymore Mm. it's more about what you want to set out for yourself uh when i write something i want to write it the best song i can ever write the best sound the best you know production and everything that that's the only goal i really have you know and it's basically to satisfy myself first of all you know Mm -hmm. and then if people like it it's a bonus definitely Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that's a good way to go because otherwise it's kind of yeah. like chasing shadows, chasing ghosts. If uh, yeah, talked about exactly. If, comments, if you, you don't want to read all the comments either, there's a fine balance there. It seems. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. And also, you know, uh, you don't want to make an album because you can go to the record company and say, "I want an advance for the the for the album to start recording," and then it becomes motivation, money, and that that's never good, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, you have to keep it the right motivation to to write an album. And I wasn't really motivated with hypocrisy for a while uh, because it was so much shit going on around it. In 2013, I we released the album, uh, End of Disclosure. At the same time, me and Till started working. Took a lot of time. Uh, released one album with Lindemann. And then right back to back, I started with the Pain album. And touring with that, I don't know, four or five tours with that album, I think. 
and then at the same time hypocrisy on and off a little bit here and there and then Lindemann started touring f- from 2018 a lot and, of pff, yeah a lot yeah. of shit and it's hard to be focused and just sit and go all right I got a month now so I tried to write one song here and then up again and go you know and then home again so that mainly kind of killed my inspiration also to to sit down and focus primordial 